Hello guys, the question is your grandmother's grandmother gives you fifty thousand dollars to be invested in one of the bonds. If you invest the entire fifty thousand dollars in one of these opportunities with the expected cash flow shown below, which our investment offers the highest NPV, assume for simplicity that an eight percent discount rate is appropriate for all three investments. Use only Excel to solve. So here we have to calculate NPV. So let's start computation of NPV. So here year, then cash flows for cash flows for the real estate. Real estate cash flows for bonds, <coughs> bonds, and then cash flows for zero coupon. Sorry. Cash flows for zero coupon. PVIF present value factor at the rate eight percent. So let's start year year zero. Then one, two, three, four, five. So cash flows for real estate minus fifty thousand for in. This is an initial investment. We can say four year zero. Four year one three thousand four hundred, and this is same from one to three years. Then year four one thousand seven hundred, and for fifth year sixty three thousand four hundred. For bonds for zero year zero, or we can say initial investment fifty thousand. Then for year one six thousand, which is equal from year one to year four, and year five fifty six thousand. Then cash flows for zero coupon for year zero fifty thousand, then zero 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 zero, and then for year five eighty five thousand. PBIF is equal one divided by bracket one. Plus eight percent bracket close then power power of time. Copy just copy the formula, select the cells, and paste the formula. Now we calculate present value of cash flows for real estate. So, present value of cash flows for real estate is equal to cash flows for real estate into PVIF factor. Just copy the formula, select the cell, and paste the formula. Same for bonds. Cash flows for bonds, and then copy the formula. Sorry. Copy the formula, select the cells, and paste the formula. Bonds and this is zero coupon. Zero coupon. Cash flows for zero coupon into PVIF. Is equal sum bracket then values and then bracket close. Just copy the formula for um, all three. So, so NPV for real estate is. Three thousand one hundred sixty point six six four bonds, seven thousand nine hundred eighty five point four two, and four zero coupon. It's seven thousand eight hundred forty nine point five seven. So we can say 
uh, net present value for bonds is higher than uh, real estate and zero, zero coupon so uh, so um, bonds offers the highest and um, npv i hope you understand the calculation in case any doubt you can ask me through comment box thank you for watching my video